So you want to take a non-diet approach to your health, but now what? How do you navigate health without all the rules? What's right? What habits should you optimize to optimize your health? Hi, I'm body positive health and fitness coach Jillian. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the intuitive eating concept of authentic health. As a certified intuitive eating counselor, I love sharing this concept with clients because viewing your health through this lens can be so powerful. First up, what is it? Authentic health is a paradigm through which we can view our health. What authentic health recognizes is that health is actually a reflection of two overlapping and integrating sets of factors. We have our external health values. And these are things like guidelines and preferences that you've adopted as an individual. It can include things like evidence-based nutrition ideas, like the importance of protein for muscle building, or pairing quicker carbohydrates with proteins, fats, or fibers to slow down that blood sugar spike and maintain better blood sugar balance, or personal philosophical preferences like veganism or eating local. We pair those with inner attunement, and this is the information you gather via sensations and lived experience, like knowing that certain foods give you GI distress, or that other foods give you great energy, or knowing that if you eat too close to bed, your acid reflex will flare. <laughs> Authentic health is the dynamic interplay between these sets of factors. Your external health value informs your choices that you make around your health practices, the foods you eat, the movements you engage in, the practices of mental, emotional, and spiritual health, and your inner attunement gives you feedback about how that value in action makes you feel. When these two things align, we have authentic health. Your health habits are both in keeping with your unique values and they make you feel the way you want to feel. Cool. So why does diet culture get in the way of this? Because diet culture tells you to adopt and integrate arbitrary rules and let those be your external health values. Eat this, not that. This is the right way to exercise. You have to dot, 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 fill in the blank to be healthy. It also essentially, essentially tells you to ignore your inner attunement. Hungry? Have a glass of water. It's thirst, not hunger. It doesn't matter if it tastes like cardboard. It's healthy. Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Ugh. <laughs> Let's go through an example to help this authentic health idea land. A common diet culture idea is that you shouldn't eat past a certain point of time in the evening. Thanks, Oprah, for making that one stick for millions of people. In diet culture, this means that, you know, often folks will ignore their inner attunement, cues like hunger in that evening period, or logistics like they need to eat dinner later in the day due to scheduling. But what comes with this is a whole boatload of guilt and sometimes even shame because we judge ourselves for not sticking to these arbitrary rules that we've adopted as external health values, even if we don't stick with it. And that internalized guilt and shame often has a far greater repercussion on our health than just eating light. There's a quote I love from the late spiritual teacher Krishnamurti that really speaks to this. You think you are thinking your thoughts. You are not. You are thinking the culture's thoughts. What I love about this quote is it really speaks to how our thoughts are really representative of the culture we are swimming in because our thoughts reflect our beliefs and our values. So when we have internalized these diet culture beliefs, this results in us engaging in health behaviors that are aligned with the values, but often disregards our inner attunement. When you're integrating external health values that are from diet culture, you're in alignment with those external health values, but they often completely disregard your innate bodily cues, lived experience, bodily wisdom, satisfaction, and feelings, among other things. The magic is when these two sets of factors overlap. 
that's when you have external health values that also enable you to and encourage you to listen to and respect your innate bodily cues, lived experience, bodily wisdom, satisfaction, and feelings. This is authentic health. Let's help this land with another example. I have acid reflux. When I was diagnosed, my doctor advised me to be mindful not to eat too close to bed. This is informed by physiology. My sphincter that keeps stomach acid from coming back up can't really do its thing because it's kind of lazy and weak when I'm laying down. This is an external health value that feels aligned for me. I also know from experience, if I eat too much close to bed, my reflux will flare and I feel miserable. So for me, this is inner attunement that guides my choice to eat not too much close to bed. I have paired the inner attunement of knowing with the external health value informed by physiology and guided by my doctor. This is an authentic health choice. One of the many reasons I love the framework of intuitive eating is that it helps people see and challenge their internalized diet culture beliefs and values. When we reject those diet culture informed beliefs and values, we can begin to identify what beliefs and values enable us to feel the way we want to feel, guided by our inner attunement. This was a big topic and something I dive into with significant amount of depth in my course, The Super You Mindset. We explore the practice of authentic health and how you can bring that practice to life in your real life. So if you'd like to learn more, I'd invite you to check that out. The link is in the video description. I've also included a link to a blog I wrote about this topic in case you want to learn a little more. It includes some more visuals and examples if you find that helpful. I invite you to continue to explore. Be curious. What health values are yours? The health values you have, have you simply adopted them from culture? Do they resonate? If they do, keep them. If not, permission to ditch them and find ones that do. Remember, there's no one right way to be healthy, just the way that works for you and your awesome body. If this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more body positive health and fitness ideas and inspiration. And if you thought it was really helpful, consider sharing this video with a friend or a loved one.